Hey everyone, it's TB Shores. It's September the 5th, 2015. It's somewhere between 11.30 p.m. and midnight. Uh, I've been trying to get some of these dreams up for y'all. I've been having a lot of dreams. Some of them are just for my personal learning. And some of them, uh, I'm seeking the Lord to see uh, what he would have me to share. So I'm trying to get started on that. Now, this dream that I'm fixing to share, I need to give you a little information before we start. And it's about my little dog, Sadie. Um, she was a pet that I had for almost 14 years. And uh, I just buried her back this past July 31st. Uh, she had a tumor um, after it got so bad. I ended up having to have her put to sleep. And um, I buried her in a, in a nice wooden box. And that's the information that you need to help you understand some of the things I'm going to mention here. Okay, now this dream, um, my husband and I were on our way. We were going to see a man that we were told had our little dog Sadie. Um, we arrived where he was at, where this man was. We spoke with him. Um, he had the dog. Uh, when we looked at the dog, it's we saw that it did appear to be Sadie. But upon closer inspection, something didn't seem right. So I turned the dog over to look at where the tumor should have been because there was a a really large tumor had grown on her belly between her hind legs. And uh, so I was checking to see if this was my dog, Sadie. And there was no tumor there. Anyway, um, where the tumor should have been, it seemed like there was just this dry, crusty-looking area. So I asked the man about the tumor. And he told me she was never sick and whatever it was had just fallen off. He also indicated that she had made her way out of the grave. Now, I specifically remember in the dream, he led me to, to feel like, he, uh, like I had buried her alive and she had found her way out of the grave. Well, that didn't make any sense to me because I knew I had buried her in a wooden box that had a lot little lock latches on the sides and um so i asked him how did she get out of the wooden box that she was in and i don't recall him giving me an answer for that okay now when we were we arrived and all this took place we were outside okay but then uh, what I'm fixing to tell you, the rest of this takes place inside of a barn, okay? Because the scene changed at that point, and we were inside of a barn. So the next thing I remember is knowing that this dog is not Sadie, and this man is trying to lie to me and deceive me. Uh... At that point, my husband left the barn, and I was standing. I was standing by a table in this barn with this man. And for some reason, now I know this, what I'm fixing to tell you is going to seem a little odd, but you're going to understand when I get finished just what this means. But for some reason, I turned my back to this man. As if I, w I did not want to hear any more of what he had to say. Because it was clear to me. I had understood that he was lying to me. He was deceiving me. Okay. So I turned my back to him. And then once I turned my back to him. I was facing this table. Well we need to understand that a table is a place of offering. Um. 
and what what I did then was in the dream I began removing my clothing um I know that sounds a little odd but there was nothing of a a a bad nature feeling about this um you'll understand what I'm talking about in a minute but I began removing my clothing and laying it on the table and um it was all about what it represents is is removing the corruptible, okay, and putting on the incorruptible. It represents a transformation, but it also represents us laying everything on the table, okay? We have to lay everything on the table and expose everything to the Lord. We can't hold on to anything. So it's about us, you have to look at it in a spiritual sense. It's about us having to get to that point of um, putting everything on the table, laying everything at the Lord's feet, and and being naked spiritually. Um, There is scripture to back this up. I will get it looked up and put it in the description box. But that's what this represents. It doesn't represent something... Um, of a perverse nature except for what the man does next but it's all about you'll understand in a minute but once I had laid everything on the table and given everything to the Lord see this is about a refining process the Lord the husband represents the Lord and he had to leave because I was at a point I was going through the refinement point on that threshing floor, on that barn floor, to where I had to make a choice. Was I going to go with this deception because it would it would connect me with something that, that I felt familiar with and that I loved? Or was I going to lay everything on the table and give it all to the Lord and turn away from this deception? That's what this dream is about okay and it's about us giving everything to the lord and we cannot we cannot be transformed unless we do that the transformation requires it okay um after this happened this man approached me in a manner of which was not acceptable it was uh, a manner that was um, of a defiling nature toward me. Uh, it's it's about the enemy wanting to defile us. And all of this, we have to give to the Lord and we have to call to the Lord and we have to run to the Lord. Because after this, after I laid everything on the table, I had given everything to the Lord and the enemy came uh groping at me then I called out to my husband and ran to be with him okay that's what this dream is about it's about letting us know about deception that's coming and lies that are coming that are going to be um, using such using things that we are familiar with things that we love to try to deceive us, to try to pull us in the direction of the enemy. But we have to be able to turn our back. See, that is that is a refining point. That's a barnyard or barn floor, threshing floor, uh, for lack of a better word, moment. Because we have to be able to turn our back on the deception and lay everything on the table and offer ourselves up to the Lord everything not trying to hide anything not withholding anything and it's about how that brings us to the transformation um, it's, a, it's about putting off the corruptible so that we can put on the incorruptible and that comes with the Lord Oh, 
so far as I know, I've covered uh, everything I need to in this. I'm, I always worry I've left out an important point because it's amazing the the points that can be made in these dreams, and just just a minor change can leave out something important. But this is all about us understanding about the deception that's coming and the trickery behind it, the lies, and how that we will uh, come up come up against deception that is pulling us toward things we're familiar with and things that we love. But we have to be able to recognize what's the truth. We have to be able to turn our back on the enemy and on the deception and on the lies, even if it looks like something we want. Even if it looks like something that we don't want to let go of. We have to be able to turn our back on it, lay everything on the table with the Lord, and follow Him. That's the only way that the transformation is going to happen for us. I hope I've uh, explained this well enough to where you get the message that the Lord intended out of this. Uh, if anyone has anything they want to add, that in you know gives us a um, better understanding by all means add it um i think different viewpoints that the holy spirit gives others helps us to get a clearer picture of things but i thank you for listening i love you all bye-bye